I became a young commissioner because of my living experience living with diabetes and I wanted to improve the diabetes services out there for young people. Welcome to the webinar series which will explain how to develop young commissioners in your organisation. This webinar series is split over two series covering how to plan, do, analyse and review the young commissioner model in order to make a lasting impact on your organisation. The gap that was identified in our integrated commissioning hub was the engagement and role of service users, but in particular young people's engagement. It was identified that we would look at the role and engagement of young people in the decision making, design and delivery of commissioned services, but unfortunately there hadn't been a programme that had been developed. For anyone wanting to adopt a youth commissioner model, I do strongly advise it because if you're commissioning children and young people services, it only makes sense to understand their need from their perspective. Otherwise, you're commissioning services that aren't being used. The Young Commissioners model provides a tested methodology to meaningfully involve young people in the work of the public sector. Co-designing and producing services and pathways that will enable young people to become active and engaged citizens. It's not a tokenistic approach, which is very, with, with all the best intentions, it's very easy to do this in a very superficial way. I think what the Young Commissioners model does, it gives us a framework for recruiting, training the Young Commissioners, so upskilling the young people so that they can work with health professionals and commissioners. But also it's about training the organisations themselves, so training the health professionals in how to work with services and, and give up a bit of their power and authority in terms of the design of services. We have a right to be involved in commissioning services we use, so it makes sense legally, morally, politically and economically to involve us. We can play a role throughout the commissioning cycle if we are taken seriously, trained and supported. It was a really positive and rewarding role. It's in a field that, you know, something that I had, I, I was living with diabetes. It gave me the chance to improve the services for other people, for my younger sister who's now two. So for me I see it a good thing because I was helping something that you know, I had and other people could now use. Being a young commissioner allows for the younger people to be able to make a proper change within their community, as in they're able to make sure that various groups receive help and care they need in a way that is able to be accessed by the young people so we are able to make change because we can understand a lot better and empathise with people in difficult situations, especially when they're young. 